So now that we have our equipment ready, we're actually able to extract the dog from the crate. The first thing I do is I'll put my left foot up against the crate door. And then I'm expecting the dog to sit automatically. If she doesn't, I'm going to tell her, Rosie, sit. Every move she makes in that position, I'm going to stop. I know, she wants to, I know she wants to exit the crate, but we're not going to exit the crate in any state of arousal. Although she's not aroused, she knows that she's going to be leaving the crate, so she's a little bit excited about that. Rosie, hey, sit. Good. Wait. The next thing I'm going to do is tell her to wait, because as soon as my head goes, or as soon as my hand goes towards that lash, look at what she's doing. She's getting up in anticipation. So basically, I'm not going to reinforce that behavior. She has to sit. She has to wait. And you wait as long as it takes. Good. Before you open the door. Now, if you notice, she's starting to jump. She realizes that nothing's going to happen. I have my leash and collar situated so that I can reach in and extract the dog before she even comes out the door. Good. So that way, I can tell her to sit and hold her to it so that she's not racing through my house, creating havoc wherever she goes. At this point in time, if you're just taking her outside to play or go to the bathroom, whatever, it's not necessary for you to put her e-collar on. You simply go about your business. 